Hello everyone, my name is Jaws and welcome back to Mad Jaw Nation. Today we're making a whiskey barrel cat bed out of an old whiskey barrel planter. As you can see, it's been charred, so it's very dirty. But it's still good, right? It has a nice aroma to it, fresh whiskey smell. So there's a few things we're gonna have to do to this barrel as we go along. One, just as it sits, it's very loose because it's missing half of itself. Then there's rust on all the rings holding it together. So we're gonna get some sandpaper. I'm using 120 grit. And what I'm gonna do is just lightly sand the metal ring but I'm not gonna sand it to a polished finish. I'm gonna sand it to a shine, but I also want to leave some of the dark rust pits to it, so that way when I clear coat it over it, it gives it a little character with black spots, because the rust, with, when you put the clear coat over it, will turn black. Now, unfortunately, that means I gotta continue sanding. So after we have all the metal bands nicely sanded to the shine that you would like, we're going to use these 3 quarter inch self tapper screws to secure the panels to the metal band. Using self tappers to avoid drilling the metal plate and then putting a wood screw in. So we're reducing the step from two steps down to one. So eventually we're going to be putting those self dapper screws all the way around the barrel on each metal band. But as you can tell right now, they have helped secure and make the barrel a lot more solid. Next we're going to mark the barrel and we're going to keep the line about an inch above the metal ring and we're going to cut off all that excess wood up top one to shorten the barrel and two to eliminate some of the weight because the barrel itself probably weighs 40 pounds as it sits right now we're also going to cut a little entrance lower for any pet to have an easier entryway to the bed
we have the barrel all cut and all the self tapper screws in and the band sanded we have to deal with the next problem which is the charred ash that is remaining inside the barrel now personally I wanted to keep the color the dark color inside the barrel for the character so in order to remove this charring without completely getting rid of that color I'm just going to use a hand wire brush and I'm going to brush the ash off all the loose particles and then after that there will be another step to thoroughly cleanse the inside of the barrel Now working on any kind of project, it is important to wear your safety gear, whether it's safety glasses or a dust mask, because as you can tell, there was a lot of dust that you wouldn't want to breathe in and have inside your lungs. So just a simple step of putting on a mask will help you out. Now to remove the ash and loose particles, that are left inside the barrel, I just took my sandblaster and stuck the hose in a jug of water. Now, it doesn't give out any pressure, not anything like a pressure washer, so it's not going to remove any surface color, it's just going to rinse out the barrel basically. You technically don't have to use a sandblaster like I'm doing, you can just rinse it out with a water hose, it don't matter. It's just the way I feel like doing it because it uses less water and air at the same time so I'm not making a huge mess inside my garage so. but if you take it outside and use a garden hose it'd work just the same Now the next step is to do finish sanding and I'm using an angle grinder with a sanding disc to smooth out all the rough edges and I'm also taking off the top layer of wood to make it a little bit lighter so when I stain it I'll get a more golden color but I also don't I'm not making it look brand new to keep kind of that rustic look. Then I'm going to use a one step polyurethane and stain coating for the outside and just a polyurethane coating clear coat for the inside of the barrel to keep the color the dark color but to seal it off and 
and there you have it. We have our whiskey barrel pet bed. I did clear coat over the metal bands to help seal it off and any remaining rust, and that's what helps give it a rustic look. But one finishing touch, I bought a 21 inch round pet bed that I'm just gonna stick in here, and it fits nice and perfectly. And voila, what do you think? What do you think of the whiskey barrel pet bed? Did you like it? If so, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you thought and if there's anything else you'd like to see me make. You can also find me by searching Imagine Nation on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and Etsy. Well, thank you so much for watching and as always, I will see you later.